Welcome back. This is the unboxing and first few moments with um, the Monoprice uh, drawing tablet, which I believe the, the literally the fancy name that they have it f uh, for it is the um, 10594. It's a great name for it. I mean, they just call it the drawing tablet, but it's funny that they didn't get a very good marketing name. Um, so I'm just going to do a couple more of the unboxing things, and then we'll get into how it's performing. So um, the manual is really clear. So it's funny because you would expect maybe they would have bad English, but um, short, concise paragraphs, uh, nice, you know, icons. If you're not used to things showing up on Windows. Um, now, I went straight to their website. It was very easy to just go to search for. 10594. Click on that. Do a control F and um, look for the word driver. And then just keep on going down until like maybe the seventh or eighth time the word driver shows up. It's a big list of Windows, Macintosh, yada, yada. It seems like they don't really support Linux, but they're like, hey, off you go. Now, <clears throat> going into uh, that little carrying case I had there. So, um, one of the things that's not great is that I'm one handed. Okay. All right. So I was a little confused as to what's going on there. So it's a nib holder. So for artists, they probably already knew that. So, uh, there's four extra nibs plus the one that I got on the pen itself. And then this thing, this metal thing, I thought it was, um, to have a nice little stopper for the pen. Um, so that. The pen sits there, and then it's got a little, like a little resistance. And I thought, oh, that's nice and everything like that. Uh, once again, for artists who already know, um, I'm going to have to turn off the light to help this. Um, if you see that little wedge right there, this is actually a clip that you're supposed to, when you want to remove a, a nib. Boy, doing this one-handed is super fun. So when you want to re remove a nib, you got a little little pincer and um, so maybe I'll put it back down into this little thing here um, maybe I'll keep it on the pen because it feels like um, I don't know feels like it's a good way to stop the pen maybe you're not supposed to put the pen here maybe you're supposed to put the weight there um, with the battery I guess it's a little loaded towards the back end so the fulcrum of this thing is a little bit farther back than probably what people who use Wacom tablets are used to. It's a, it's a little, it's about right here is the fulcrum instead of somewhere in the middle. Um, so eh, uh, I don't know Wacom tablet feeling, so I don't know anything that's worse about that. Um, the This has got a little bit of weight to it, this, this base, but it's not fantastic. I wish it was a little bit more uh, weight to it. That would be nice. Uh, another thing that's not great, let's see if I can manage this. I will put my arm there. All right. All right. So another thing that's not great is uh, this This cap goes on pretty easy. Um, it's not too bad. Um, I'm making it look worse than it. So, and then it's just, and then it's just a tiny little twist. So it's just a very short, look at my two thumbs, that is slip on, and just half an inch. So it actually, you can see what happened was, I was like thinking I had to unscrew it, and you can actually start maybe th screwing up your threads. If you just keep on going backwards, maybe um, it puts pressure on it and it just pops. So there's many different places or it seems like you can get it on here. And then you just got to turn it just a little bit and not go crazy with it. Um, but once again, this is this is not very heavy, and I wish it was a little heavier um, to be a little bit more solid. Um, <clears throat> so, that being that, so I installed the drivers, um, and I guess I'm going to have to alternate between having the light on so you can see things and turning off the light so you can see the monitor. I've already loaded up Photoshop. Um, when 
I first turned on the PC and I waited for everything to kind of load in. It seemed like my PC took a little longer to load up. I'm assuming it's the first time uh, because you have to restart after installing the drivers. And I assume this is maybe something to do with the first time installation of the drivers. Maybe it's my PC um, that had some choking to do. So when I plugged in the thing, uh, this little light up here, um, this little light up here blanked three times, one, two, three. So that's nice to at least know, hey, hardware's plugged in. Uh, the length of cable feels pretty good, but it's because I have a laptop. Maybe if you had a desktop, it would feel short. But if you can see, if you can figure out this is a standard laptop distance, you know, you got a nice six foot something odd cable here. Um, <clears throat> actually, we can look up exactly what it is because, of course, they give you, you have a graphic tablet, wireless garbage pen, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Oh, well, oh, there it is, 1.5 meters. So I guess that's four and a half feet, oh, 4.9 feet right there. Um, so moving on. So that's uh, that's the last of the um, unboxing stuff. I might put the CD in later just to see if there's some kind of software. Um, I think maybe they have their own proprietary software to help set up the buttons um, you can resize. There's a lot of options. Uh, maybe this is used. Artists are used to this, but you can either make this entire screen not being the entire screen. You can maybe make it part of it. Um, you can set the option of does this relate to the ratio of your computer, regardless of whatever your ratio of your computer it makes that, or do you want to set up your own thing? And uh, <clears throat> it also looked like possibly from the manual. They have some kind of proprietary software that makes it so you can mess around with stuff even before you get into Photoshop. That You can change a bunch of different ways and factors that you interact with it. And uh, they are nice to the lefty people. So I guess ever since Windows 9 or something like that, uh, they made it easy for people who are lefties to... Um, work with it. So what I'm not a fan of, I might actually have, this is one of the big complaints already off the top of using it. So here I am. Now, uh, the, this button feels a little flimsy. It's, um, it's so thin and kind of just loose. Um, that yeah, if you press slowly, it seems like the spring, it's like when you have um, a shitty low-end pen and then you have it unscrewed just a little bit. So maybe I need this. No, oh, I got this screwed down. Um, it just feels like, yeah, very loose and very mm, breaky. All right. So, yeah, you unscrew from here in the middle and then you put the battery in. And uh, I don't need to show that to you. You put a battery into a thing. You've done it before. All right. So here we go. I plug... Um, so I don't get a confirmation when I turn on the pen, which is not great. I don't like that. And then watch what happens when I got the, okay. When I have the pen on this little light, is just like constantly like, Hey, I know that you're there. All right. And like, there's no way I like that. Like that is, it's really not easy to convey how much annoying that is in real life. But let's try and do this. Like, no, it's really not, it's not obvious how just super annoying that is. Um, very distracting in my opinion. And I just think the, the phone is not really picking up how bright of a little, tiny little LED thing. Anyway, so <clears throat> now I am not a Photoshop master, uh, <laughs> as I've already said. But so I'm not really conversant with how I'm supposed to be able to set up my pressure sensitivity. Um, let me self-advertise a bit. And, uh, but right off the bat, yeah, things are moving. Um, feels pretty good. Let's see if I can get it, not annoy the hell out of you people. Um, so this is me all, all the way over to the far right. This is me all the way over to the far left. So this feels better than the gigantic tablet, the Wacom tablet that I showed in the previous video. 
um, I can get all the way across without having to, so I can go this without practically moving my wrist. Whereas before on the giant Wacom tablet I had, I had to like go all the way over here. And sometimes I, I still had to pick up the pen and go over. I found that very annoying. Very, very annoying. It was very time consuming. So liking that. All right. Uh, so uh, I don't know much about brushes, but I know I've seen some artists and they bring up something like this. And then there's like, I don't know, there's something like that. And then let's do some self-advertising of my little story. Uh, Sansy. And let's see if I can't find, nope. I don't have anything recent, so let me look. Back up, back up. And so that feels, that feels all right. Um, let me turn on the light again. The tap actually feels better than the old Wacom tablet I was using. It's got a little bit more depression. So it, uh, let me get someplace that doesn't give you a little visual. So it's pretty short. It goes pretty far in. It goes about four tenths of its fully extended thing. Um, all right. So I'm going to open up my bad boy here. Um, this is concept art by Alex Pellier, Alex P. Uh, really, really nice guy. Very understanding dude. And, uh, what we got for PSDs? I can't really. I've put myself on a stupid thing that isn't dis um, details. All right. Uh, hmm. What folder am I in? Oh, I hate when people do this in YouTube videos when they don't know what the hell they're doing. Oh, so annoying. All right. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. All right, bada beam, bada boom. So this is this is Alex Pellier, and then he was very nice. Uh, and I'm being one of those clients. I said, "Hey, well, look, I will give you credit, um, but I'd like to do a little bit of drawovers because there's certain things I wanted." So super, super annoying to I think to an artist uh, to have someone who's not really an artist uh, do some drawovers. Okay, so this is supposedly what this thing does with maybe different strengths. So I'm going to just do very even. If I'm just going to barely drag it across. Okay. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do a couple more. And let me see. I'm going to look at it without looking at my phone. Because um, I want to see how smooth that... Uh, the Inputs per second, which is, I think, what they said, which was um, 200 RPS. I believe that's what that rating is. So I'm going to look at it with my actual eyes instead of through my phone. Yeah, it feels good. I, I just It looks like there's a little bit of lag on my phone, so that's why I was a little concerned about it. So now I'm going to finally do some pressure here. So this is very light. Oh. I mean, if I just sit here forever, what happens? Oh, okay. So it's got some kind of software that if you hold it down, it does a right-click menu or something like that. So, all right. So soft to hard. I do not see anything. Now, it's probably because I don't have something like... So there's brush tip dynamics, shape dynamics. Um... Try again. I see my little. Hmm. Now this might be just a result of I've got the wrong thing really selected. Uh, I'm gonna just put a whole bunch of things like I think I heard texture does something or transfer. Maybe it's transfer. Um. So I'm gonna do here's a light one. Here's a really heavy, and there's no difference on that, so I cannot tell what the hell's going on. But anyway, um, so far, 
feels pretty good. It's pretty fast. Um, and uh, we'll see what else happens with it. And um, yeah, maybe I'll get a, a third little short video once I get a person who actually knows Photoshop and they can tell me why the hell uh, I'm not getting that pressure. I'm not seeing any change in the pressure sensitivity. Um, so I got my right click. I got the forward button pressed right now. Nothing. Just at least not out in the drawing pad. Uh, the rear button clicked. Now, seems like when I click them, I do get notification on the pad. Um, so if I hold down this button on the back, I get the same contextual menu. Um, I got the right button. Hey, Brian, can I hit you up? I'm going to stop this video and see if I can't get somebody who knows Photoshop to show me some things. And we'll come back to evaluation. It's been Brian Sturm on Invincible Games. And this is the unboxing and first testing of the Monoprice 10594 drawing tablet. See you soon.